I am going to be showing you how I straighten my natural hair. I'm gonna go through the beginning to the end from wash to blow dry and flat iron. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and comment down below if there's any other techniques that you use when blow drying your hair because I use the chase method. Instead of using the rat tail comb, I use a bristle brush and I think that does a better job. I have tried the rat tail comb chase method before and I think that the bristle brush works 10 times better. So um, this is how my hair came out. I am super, super happy. It's like flowy and it has, I cut some layers in it because of course when you're natural you need to keep up with your trends. Yep, I am super, super happy and I just have it in a side part and let me show you the back of how it looks. Yep, it got pretty long. I think because it's bumped, it's shorter, but it's like bra length. So if you're new to my channel, my name is Jasmine. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below so you will be notified when I come out with a new video and that you can join my YouTube family here on my channel. I hope you like this video, but enough blubbering, let's get into the video. Okay, so the things that you are going to need is some hair clips, a wide tooth comb, a hair catcher, some shampoo, a conditioner of your choice. So first what I'm going to start doing is by sectioning off my hair into four parts, two in the back and two in the front. And I'm just going to use these clips just to hold down the hair. Sectioning off your hair is great because you can get the job done 10 times faster. So now I'm just going to start with the front portion of my hair and I'm just going to wash it and just make sure that you use the shampoo starting from the roots all the way down to the ends of the hair. And you just want to wash your hair really good because when your hair is curly you get a lot of buildup. And you just want to make sure that the shampoo strips all of the oils and build up from when your hair was curly. And I'm just going to be detangling hair, making sure there's no knots in my hair, so when it's time to blow dry, I won't have any issues. And I'm just going to be tangling as I go. So after I rinse all of the shampoo out, I'm just going to twist my hair up and clip it and move on to the next pieces. So after all four sections are done, I'm going to move on to conditioning my hair. And the conditioner that I'm going to be using is this olive oil brand. And you just want to use a light conditioner. You don't want to use too much of um, heavy products in your hair because it can weigh your hair down when you straighten your hair. So after I do that, I'm just going to twist it up and spray the moisturizer all over my hair. Okay, so now it's time to blow dry. I'm using this Con Air blow dryer and you just want to make sure that they have the nozzle attachment that comes with it. I'm going to be using this Got To Be hair protecting spray. You're going to need a rat tail comb as well as a brush. And of course, some scissors to trim those raggedy ends. Okay, so I'm going to be starting with this bottom section. And I'm just going to be taking one to two inch pieces and blow drying them. You're just going to want to comb out any knots that was left over. And I'm just going to be using this brush to create some tension for when I have to blow dry my hair. You want to make sure that you stretch your hair out as much as possible so when it's time to straighten your hair with a flat iron, there isn't much work that needs to be done. You also want to get the ends because you don't want to have straight roots with curly ends so just make sure that your ends are straight as possible as well. You want to make sure that your hair is at least 95 to 100% dry 
So after you do that first section, just clip it away and do the rest of your hair and I'll be back. So this is how I came out. The rest of my hair is blow dried. Now I'm moving on to flat iron and I'm using this Chi straightener, which is great. And I'm just going to spray my hair with some more heat protecting spray. And I'm going to section it off once again in the same four parts. And I'm going to be starting with smaller pieces, probably a half of an inch in diameter. You want to make sure that you get small pieces because you want to make sure that your hair is straight as possible. And I have very, very thick hair, so I'm setting my flat iron on the highest heat setting there is, which is 400 degrees. You're just going to want to use the chase method, which I'm using a bristle brush for. And you're just going to want to make sure your hair is bone straight. And you're just going to want to do each section, starting from the roots all the way to the end. And I do at least one to two passes just to make sure it's nice and sleek. And like I said again, I just use the chasing method with a bristle brush. So I'm going to finish this section of hair. Just to show you again, just make sure that you comb it out and use a bristle brush to chase the flat iron down your hair. And get those ends as well. Yep, so I'm going to finish the rest of my hair and show you how it came out. Okay, so this is the flat iron hair that I finished. So now, the last portion of this video, I'm just going to bump my ends because I like the look of my hair bumped, not bone straight. So this is pretty much self-explanatory. You're just going to want to curl your flat iron underneath your hair. And just to make sure that you get all of the pieces. Okay, so as I get towards the front of my hair, I make sure that I curl the flat iron the opposite way because it gives me lift as well as volume in the front of the hair and I'm just touching up a few pieces in the front and I think that's about it I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next video next week thanks for watching